Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you two DIYs. First up, I'll be showing you how to make some floating candles. You're going to need a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. I wanted my candles to be a little smaller than the paper towel roll, so I cut mine in half. Plus, I only had two rolls and I wanted at least four candles, so that's why I cut it in half to make more candles. I used an X-Acto knife to cut it. This doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it at least level if you do decide to cut the paper towel roll. Trace out some circles on regular printing paper to close up the candle later on. You'll also need some tea light candles. Take your tea light candle and place it towards the top of your roll and take something pointy like a pin or something and poke a hole underneath the tea light candle and do this on both sides opposite of each other. Then you're going to paint the roll white and I'm using acrylic paint to do this. Use a hot glue gun to make drips to resemble hot wax melting. Do not cover up the holes that you just made. When the glue is dry, paint that white too. The circle that you traced out earlier on the bottom to close up the candle and paint it white if needed. Take string, preferably fishing string because it's clear, and thread it through the holes that you made earlier. The measurements are up to you depending on how low or high you want it to be on your ceiling. And if you're doing multiple candles, make sure each of the strings are at different measurements. That way the candles aren't level with each other, but you can make them level if you prefer to. Then go ahead and tie a knot at the end of the strings. The string is hanging from the ceiling your tea light candle should rest on top of the string like so that way you don't have to glue it in and you can change it out when the battery dies to attach it to the ceiling I use these velcro tab things but you can also tape it to the ceiling because I believe it's light enough but don't use like scotch tape or something use like packing tape or you can try push pins or something like that and that's it for floating candles. This would be a great party decoration or a room decoration. It would definitely make a great night light. <laughs> I would have shown what this looked like without any lights on, but I film on my phone and it's not the best quality and it wouldn't have picked up what it really looked like anyways, so yeah. Anyways, next up, flying keys. First, you're going to print out some wings. I found this wing template online and I'll leave a link to it down below in the description box. You'll also need some keys, whether they're real or fake. I got these fake ones at Michael's. You can find these at most craft stores or maybe Amazon. I'll leave a link or more if I find it online. The rest is easy. You just cut up the wing and glue it to the key, then take some string, preferably fishing string because it's clear, and tie it to the top of the key. To place it up on the ceiling, it's the same as the floating candles. You can either find these velcro tabs, I found mine at Dollar Tree, or you can tape it up on the ceiling or use push pins. Also, just like the floating candles, the length of the string is up to you. Just make sure you use different measurements for each of the keys, just so the keys aren't all at the same level, unless you want them to be. And that's it. I hope you give these DIYs a try yourself. Please like and subscribe for more DIY videos, and thanks for watching!